it's Around Town with Mandy, and we have made our way out to Mason's Farm Produce to find some fresh produce, beef, pork, milk, eggs, cheese, and more. So we're up to the stand, and we are here with Kate and Steve, the stand owners. How are you? Hi, good. How are you, Mandy? Just fine. Good. So, well, welcome to Mason Produce. Yes, thanks for coming Thank out you. today. So tell us where you guys are located if no one's never been here. We are located um, on 304, uh, just outside of Centerville, about seven miles. Um, if you know where the truck stop is, you drive about five miles down 304, past the truck stop, um, and we're right there on the left. Right on the left, you can't miss it. When the open flag's open, yep. you're here. We are, and we're here Thursday through Sunday, 10 to six each of those days. We are closed Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Perfect. Well, things on the farm have to keep operating. They do. We keep busy on those days, catching up with all sorts of other work. There you go. <laughs> so some of the things at the stand, most people know, tomatoes, squash, but there are some unique things you guys have at Mason's Produce. We do. We carry beef from my husband's family farm in New York. Uh, that's where we met in college. And so we still carry beef uh, from his parents, from my in-laws there. And we do a variety of other things. We carry lamb, chicken, eggs, milk, yogurt, ice cream, baked goods on the weekends. They all, get delivered Friday. Uh, all fresh local this morning. products. Yep. All local. Nice. Yep. Except for him, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I'm keep local. him. That's and then I did see a sign out there. So you guys participate in the food bank. We do, we do. They usually, during the summer, we do either one or two gleanings a week uh, to support the food bank. Um, usually nice. with corn and tomatoes, also some melons. We donated some melons this past week. Um, it's been a good season for growing, so we're lucky that we can help provide uh, to those in need as well. And Fantastic. We've been, and we've been partnering with them for the past seven or eight years now, uh, Steady, and they've been a great partner. And working with uh, Amy Colley, she's the coordinator for the Eastern Shore. Yeah, I tell people, volunteer. It's an amazing it's experience. Great. Yes, it, we, it, couldn't have, it wouldn't happen without them. Yes. And That's people right. have to eat, and unfortunately, we are blessed to be on farms, yep. and the food is available, but not everyone has that option that we have. That's true. So, you know, it's nice to know that someone's getting good food from a farm, like, you know, where it's coming from. Absolutely, 100%. Very true. So you were talking about baked goods. I see behind you. Tell me a little bit about your baked goods section. We do. We have, that's a rack of actually just extras. We have everything out on the front of the stand for customers to see, but pies, sweetbreads, cookies, whoopie pies, uh, fresh rolls, granola, um, everything they bake on Thursdays and then deliver here Friday mornings to us. Nice. So where does your produce, uh, your baked goods come from? They come from the Lap family. They're out of uh, Southern Pennsylvania. Um, and so we worked with them for about five years. Another Lap family out of Chestertown. They handed things off um, to, I say, the new Mr. and Mrs. Lap. There Several years ago, they got out of the wholesale business. Um, but um, John and Priscilla, they've um, really stepped up to the plate. They're doing an excellent job with everything. Nice. And as we walk down the stand, we can start to walk and see some things you offer. We've got tomatoes, All the tomatoes beans. Are. Beans are local. They're coming out of Delaware right now. Onions. Onions are our Steve grew a lot of onions this year. I'm nice. very of proud of that. <laughs> to my wife's chagrin, but she was able to handle the vast quantity of onions I was able to pull out of the high tunnels. These are grown in the high tunnels, wow. by the way, as well as the, the all the tomatoes you see here. Impressive. And if people cucumbers. follow your Facebook page, absolutely, they will see. They will see. There's you so guys many post when you start we growing do. your tomatoes in your high tunnels. I know I see it we all the time. We do. We start. I think a lot of people don't realize how early we start our tomatoes. Um, we start in the greenhouses with seeds um, in late January, first of February. Um, so it really is a year-long process. Of, nice and of growing. We've added a friend on. I see we Will. Have. <laughs> our son Will. What's Will, how are you today? Good. Good. So he's one of the farm help. Will does a little bit of everything. Yes. He does. He likes to help, especially with the food bank. He, nice. he loves to help. With Is that the food one of your fitness? Amy's pretty cool, huh? You yeah. love to drive the gator, which picks up the baskets of corn and we go dump them. You've helped a lot with that this year, haven't you? <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Well, let's keep walking and see what else. So I see we've got some fresh flowers. We do. We started partnering with this farm this year, um, and she's out of Delaware, and so she drops off on Friday mornings. Nice. Um, some beautiful. fresh arrangement. They are. She did a beautiful job with these. Um, I love the kind of fallish look. And of course, one of my favorites, but it's a seasonal thing, sweet corn. corn absolutely. So we grow both white and bicolor here at the stand, um, which... Um, are very popular. We have uh, several varieties that we've yeah, always grown over the years um, and that we really enjoy. So um, we have both of those today. Yes, and I see behind it we've got milk and yogurt, eggs. So you could pretty much come here and make the whole entire day's meal. Breakfast, yeah, lunch, and dinner. Absolutely. And as we keep going, we've got honey. We do. And some jams. Oh, it just keeps going. And then here's the pies she was telling us about. Absolutely. And the refrigerated pies. Those are super Ooh, who popular. Who can forget those? Um, so we can't can't forget about those, right, buddy? <laughs> Peach pies and apple and fresh apple and, and 
There's those whoopie pies, Ted. Ted talks about the whoopie pies. Absolutely. You cannot talk about the whoopie pies. Bread <laughs> and banana bread and granola. We've got blackberries and peaches and watermelons and cantaloupes, and it goes on. But behind you, I see that's a cool treat for the summer. Another it seasonal is. treat. <laughs> All nice. seasonal eating here. So we have to ask while we're here, what's your favorite? Why don't you ask this guy right here? Well, chocolate cream pie. <laughs> oh, chocolate cream pie. Chocolate cream pie. Well, I could agree with him there. I like chocolate cream pie. Absolutely. How about snow cones? What's your Do you have a favorite? Cone? Chocolate. Chocolate. Wow. Are you seeing With marshmallow, you? right? I have to say two flavors combined. Ooh. We will mix up to four flavors. <laughs> Custom snow cones. Okay. That's and that better. would be lemon lime and pink lemonade. Wow. What a great arcade. combination. I'm try I would say day. just, there you go. I'd probably say something the same. I like something that's more tart. So not too sweet, is, unless I'm eating the pies and things. Nice. <laughs> so what a way to end the day when you just come out, get your dinner, and then a snow cone on the way home to, Absolutely. You to start dinner. Well, thanks for having us out at the thanks farm. Out, Wonderful. Yeah, have you here. Yeah. And definitely um, check them out, you guys. Again, tell them where you're located. We're on 304, right outside of Centerville. Um, our phone number here at the market is 443 262 6933 if you have any questions. And you can follow us on Facebook at Mason Farms Produce. Well, there you have it. You've seen the stand and everything they have to offer. So there's no reason why you can't make your way out, grab yourself some fresh baked goods some beef, some pork, and don't forget the snowball. We'll see you next time. Hey, so you've made it to the whole Around Town with Mandy episode. And you want me to come to your business? Oh, I'd love to. So look me up on Facebook or send me an email, farmerswife830 at gmail.com, and I'll come to your business and you can be on Around Town with Mandy. Great!